If prime or composite numbers throw you for a loop, this video is going to help. Okay, so first let's talk about what the definitions are for each, and then we're going to talk about those special numbers that really throw us for a loop 0 and 1. So prime numbers are numbers that have only two factors, 1 and the number. An example of this would be the number 17. 17, the only two things you can multiply to get it would be 1 and 17. So 1 times 17 is 17, that makes it prime. A composite number is one that has factors in addition to 1 in itself. Take, for example, the number 6. I know that I can multiply 1 times 6 to get 6, but also 2 times 3 to get 6. You can see that I'm using number bonds to show my factors for 6. So now let's talk about 0 and 1, because these throw us for a loop. 1, you might think, well, by definition of prime, a whole number with only two factors, well, can I multiply 1 times 1? Here's the catch. 1 doesn't count as prime, and it doesn't count as composite, because it actually only has one factor, 1. Because one only has one divisor, it's not prime or composite. Now let's talk about zero. Now zero actually falls into the same bucket as one. So zero is also not prime or composite because again, it doesn't have more than two factors. Yeah, you can multiply zero times zero to get zero, but that is not two distinct factors. I hope this video has cleared up some confusion between prime and composite numbers, and now you know that 1 and 0 are neither prime nor composite.